hey guys a very good evening to all of you welcome to another video so today we are going to or i am going to address your queries that you had posted in the community tab okay now if you want that i should address your queries also like some of you might have not uh, asked your queries in the community tab so i'll try to make this a weekly affair so that i can answer most of the queries that are posted on in the comment section right so let's see the first query which is the most popular one as well that uh, what is the eligibility criteria for gate 2021 so according to the initial notification that has just come up about a couple of days back bsc third year candidates are also eligible for giving the gate examination though it is not very clear because but according to the initial uh, you know notification they have mentioned that any anyone who has 10 plus 2 plus 3 years of education or someone who has done a undergraduate degree in science engineering and etc so that means if you have done an undergraduate that means if you are in msc first year you, uh, you know earlier it was just msc second year candidates were eligible so that means according to the notification bsc third year candidates and even msc first year candidates are now eligible to give the gate examination though it might become more clear once the brochure for the gate 2021 comes up but from the initial uh, you know you can say from the initial notification it is quite clear that it is bsc third year candidates msc first year candidates are also eligible though i don't know how useful it is going to be apart from the fact that you can give more attempts uh, generally psus prefer the latest gate score next question that we have is is by asha and she says how to improve organic chemistry for preparation of gate so for gate examination as we know that your all three top you know subjects should be very strong that is physical inorganic and organic inorganic and uh, organic and to improve organic chemistry um, just like physical and inorganic it requires practice and some brush up on the basics if i talk about gate examination in specific um, you know apart outside Clayton there are very few questions so if you are able to understand the concepts from Clayton and Carruthers and you have you can do multiple examples like basically understand the concepts from Clayton or any other book that is helpful like that you can understand do all the examples that are given in Clayton and do most of the examples that are given in Carruthers if you are able to do, do this much you can score well in the gate examination it's not uh, like the organic chemistry that is asked in gate is not difficult at all yeah, so the next question that has been asked is by Ankit that good morning my admission has been done in PhD during the lockdown but right now I am in my house so please suggest me how can I continue my PhD research so since you have just enrolled um, Ankit in your PhD so what I would recommend is that your guide and your supervisor supervisor might also have recommended this to do literature review um, if for example you are in organic chemistry um, you could go through various articles that are published daily like in you know reputed journals like journal of organic chemistry organic letters which are specific basically to the field of your interest and get some idea as to what you can start off once the once the institute opens right so try to get as much idea as possible also one more thing try to know from your seniors what all softwares are you going to utilize in that particular field where where in which you are going to pursue a phd for example um, if I talk about organic chemistry, we generally use softwares like Mestronova, um, you know, or Topspin for analyzing the NMR. Um, similarly, depending on your field, like this is just the basic idea I'm giving you. There might be many other softwares like for physical chemistry. I'm sure there, there are a lot of softwares that can utilize. So try to understand the working of those software, how you can use it. Try to be more efficient with those softwares. That is going to be helpful. Um, along with that what you could do is maybe write a review article because that will help you build your CV or your profile and along with that it will give you a better insight into you know because when you're presenting something to the world you you kind of like analyze something 10-15 times before like actually writing it down and presenting it in the public domain that will lead to a more precise or more concise um, understanding of the subject so that once you start the practical work you would be better prepared and you'll have a lot of ideas with which you can continue the next question is by uh, Rehan and he says is NPTEL certificate uh, does NPTEL certificate add extra impressions in CV during the interview for PhD so I don't think so uh, Rehan like if you have a project if you have done research before um, that is definitely a plus point but for PhD interviews I don't think NPTEL certificates uh, you know bring a lot on the table right so even if you don't if you have an NPTEL certificate if you have done courses if you understood the concepts and you have a certificate that's great okay there's no negative 
with it but i don't think it has some very positive impact um you know in the phd interviews okay the next question by dheeraj and he asked me he is asking me how did this youtube channel help you in your phd journey so i'll keep this answer very short see the youtube channel generally when you come to third and fourth year in phd you know you ha- you are not in touch with the basic aspects that you had you know completed during your masters and bachelors because you are doing specialization in one particular topic so more or less you have lost touch with you know let's say if i'm doing phd in organic chemistry i've lost most of the phd's in uh, phd's in organic chemistry have lost lost touch with physical and inorganic right right like even the basics is something which is very hard to recall so through this youtube channel through this uh, you know whole concept of teaching i have been in touch with physical inorganic chemistry and also major concepts in organic chemistry so it has first of all helped me improve my overall concepts and along with that it has uh, helped me to keep in touch with subjects which i might have not kept in touch had i not had this youtube channel next question is by arindam and he says how to prepare f block for net and gate so f block or lanthanides and actinides are basically a very important part when it comes to um you know csi net examination and gate examination most of the questions are based on magnetism so what i have seen is that for mag- for lanthanides and actinides either you, the, the, i have not seen any very very good spe- you know specialized book uh but what you could do is basically do the magnetism part at least from uh hui basically everything that is given uh, about lanthanides and actinides from hui um you should actually go through it line by line each and every line is very important um along with that uh, i would say most of the uh, you know most of the properties of lanthanides and act- actinides are related to the electronic configuration so if you are very clear if you are un- if you understand the electronic configurations of various lanthanides and actinides i think you can do well in the examination there like you don't need to really understand anything outside of that So I think these were some of the questions and I will try to address more questions um in the next community tab I'm sure that many of you were not aware of this fact that I have start I have started a you know post where you can let me know your queries so I'll definitely try to give you more time because I posted this in the afternoon and in the evening I'm making a video right so I'll try to give you more time maybe a couple of days before making this video I'll post it so that I c- I can get more and more queries rest of the queries which were very small which I thought I could just answer through the comments I have answered them and anyway I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like this video um and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to it it really motivates me to make regular and frequent videos for all of you also i'm teaching on unacademy so if you want some information regarding it you can go through the following clip hey guys so i am a verified educator on unacademy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is sethi once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform